Hi, I'm Teresia. I'm Jessica. We're trainers who found anatomy can be quite challenging, but it can also be quite humorous. Today we're talking about another extensor muscle, the triceps brachii. We'll show you how to find the attachment points, we'll draw it on a skeleton, we'll show you what it looks like on a real human and how it moves, and then we'll leave you with a song to remember it by. Did you know that triceps brachii means three heads of the arm? The triceps is one of the most requested muscles by brides to shape their upper arms. It's also used to stabilize the arm while doing fine motor work with the hand, like signing autographs. Let's draw this muscle. Don't forget that you can click on the link below for your own copy of the skeleton and draw along. So now we're going to take a look at the proximal connections of the three heads. We have the medial head, lateral, and long head. We're going to start with the medial head below the radial groove of the humerus and the intermuscular septum. Then we have the lateral head, which is proximal to the radial groove of the humerus and the intermuscular septum. And then we have the infraglenoid tubercle of the scapula for the long head right over here. Once you got those, we're going to go over to the distal connection, which is only one connection point the olecranon process of the ulna via the triceps brachii tendon. We're going to start with the medial head, which goes below the radial groove of the humerus and attaches at the olecranon process of the ulna. Next, we have the lateral head, which is proximal to the radial groove of the humerus and also attaches into the olecranon process of the ulna. Both of these muscles extend the elbow. Next, we have the long head, which attaches at the infraglenoid tubercle of the scapula into the olecranon process of the ulna. And this muscle extends the elbow, extends the shoulder, and also adducts the shoulder. So now we're going to find these connection points on Jessica. We're going to have her turn around, and we're going to go for the proximal connection starting with the medial head, below the radial groove of the humerus. Then we have the lateral head, proximal to the radial groove of the humerus. And then the long head, which is at the infraglenoid tubercle of the scapula. They all connect to the distal connection at the olecranon process of the ulna. Let's connect the dots via muscle fibers. We know that these three points connect to this one point, so when the triceps contract, these points will get closer together. So Jessica's tricep is going to extend the elbow, extend the shoulder, and adduct the arm. If you want to get really specific, you can change the position of your hand as you contract the muscle. Palm down would be lateral head, neutral would be medial head, and palm up would be long head. Do your arms hang low? Do they wobble to and fro? You can tighten up your tricep. I can show you where to go. Pull it back, pull it in. Move the elbow to and fro. Now let your triceps show. Does my arm hang low? No, you can let your triceps show. Are you sure? <laughs> Thanks for joining us today on Quite Humorous. Tune in again for another muscle. There's only 636 left. <laughs>